Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a, another NYX swatch video for you guys. These are going to be on some of the baked eyeshadows that they recently released for the spring and summertime. I'm just going to swatch these for you guys because it's really fun for me to do swatches for you guys because I feel like you really get to see the pigmentation of the colors and just see how great NYX is as a brand. I know NYX is more on the lower end of the spectrum of makeup, but their quality is more of the higher end. Um, I definitely go to NYX before I go to any higher end products because I feel like with some NYX products you can find dupes. So it's really, really great for that, and I enjoy NYX. They're an amazing company. I've always, I've loved NYX since 2011, and I've been using NYX since 2011, since pretty much since I started makeup artistry and beauty school and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. The first shadow I'm going to swatch for you guys is called Kush. And it is a green color. That is what it looks like. So, let's just swatch it. And these are so, so pigmented, guys. Here is the swatch and the color of it. really really nice I'm going to put that on the back of my hand now with a primer it's going to be a lot more vibrant um, I just did two swipes on my hand so you can see the swatch of it so that is what it looks like I really really do like this color, it's really, really pretty. Like I said, it will be even more amazing with a primer underneath. I would definitely suggest maybe a white base primer because it will show up a lot more vibrant. The next shadow I'm going to show you guys is called Love Junkie, and it is just a purple color. I thought I should probably show you guys a purple because I really enjoy purple colors. I think they are great and they're really, really pretty, so I really like purple. That is the swatch of it. So you guys can see that is the... So let's just... This one is very, very pigmented without a primer so that is without a primer I think this color is great without a primer too I mean I know some people forget to use primers um, I highly suggest you guys go to your nearest Ulta or wherever you can even use um, concealer or foundation if you really like to as a primer if you don't necessarily have a primer that is specifically for your eyes um, but definitely this color is pretty pigmented without a primer so really really great I enjoy this once again this is love junkie the next color I'm going to show you guys is called peach ice and it is like the name, it's just a peach color. So, let's just swatch it. And these are really, really velvety feeling. Um, this is a really, really pretty color, perfect for the summertime. So, let's watch it it's very pretty you could actually also use this as a highlight without a primer this could definitely dupe as a highlight so that is 
the swatch on the back of my hand. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a little faint on my hand because there isn't a primer. But like I said, you could totally use this as a highlight if you're not, um, if you don't have a primer and you want to use a primer on your eyes but you don't have one at the moment, you could also use this as a highlight for your cheekbones. Um, it's definitely great. Um, I think it's a really, really pretty color. I would definitely suggest it. The next one, this is actually one of my favorite ones, and this is called Made Moselle. I'm not for sure, but it's more of a cranberry color. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. But like I said, it's a cranberry color. Really pretty. Um, this could also be, I mean, some people don't like shimmers, but I would, you could totally use this as like a blush. If you are someone that bold. Like these, some of these shadows are very versatile. Um, like I said, you can use the peach ice as a highlight. You might be able to possibly use this one as a blush. Um, this one is pretty pigmented without a primer as well. That was one swatch. Let's do another one on top. So that is the swatch of it. So that is two swatches. Um, hopefully, I apologize for the noise. There's people in this house. Um, yeah. So that is that color. The last color I'm going to swatch, which I'm really actually really excited about this color, because blue is one of my favorite colors. It's always been actually one of my favorite colors ever since I was little. And it's called Indigo Child. And this is just an indigo blue. So let's swatch that for you. I will also say you do have to, there's like a layer above the shadow that you have to get through. But once you get through that layer, it's perfectly fine. This is a really, really pretty, it almost looks like a matte color, but it's not fully matte. That is it. I have a feeling this isn't going to swatch too, too well without a primer. Um, kind of. It's okay, it doesn't swatch amazing. I'm doing another swipe through. Yeah, it will be, it's going to be great with a primer, so definitely would suggest if you do get this color, purchase a primer. So definitely I would purchase a primer or at least use a primer for this color because it is not as pigmented as some of the other colors. So those are all the swatches I'm going to do for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up so I know. If you guys do want to see more swatch videos on my baked NYX eyeshadows, then also give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos so you're notified when a new video is live. 
And don't forget to check all my links below. Don't forget to head over to my second channel and check that out as well. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.